making the citrus peel candy. And what we have going on right now is the citrus peels are in our pan boiling. And it's been about a 10 to 12 minutes. And I've just been stirring them a little bit, making sure that they stay submerged. Um, we're trying to get rid of the bitterness of the, the white part, the pith. And the water, which I did taste, is bitter, so that makes sense. So what I'm going to do now is these are tender, so I'm going to pull them out and put them on this tray here to let them dry a little bit. Pull them all out of here. And then what we'll do is we'll get our sugar water ready. And I'm going to be dumping this water if that's in the pan because it's very bitter. And we're trying to get rid of that bitterness, so we're not going to reuse it. That pith, by the way, is actually very healthy for you. If you can get past the bitterness. But it doesn't make for good candy. dump this water. And now what we're going to do is put one cup of hot water in here. Of course you can boil it on the stove, but I already got the hot water ready to go. And we're going to add a cup of sugar. And we're using the organic cane sugar, not bleached. This is going to make a very thick syrup, which when we're done you can reuse into drinks and whatnot. So all I'm doing now is dissolving the sugar. And if you have a lot of pith on your peels, you could do that first part twice, is boiling the peels to get rid of some of the bitterness, strain it, boil it again in plain water. And then do this third step. So my sugar looks like it's almost all dissolved here. So I'm going to add our peels back into the sugar. sugar water. And then we're going to let this boil, simmer, for about another 10 minutes in the sugar water. And I am going to be stirring it occasionally. To make, make sure that the peels on top are getting into the sugar water. I've got some of my orange peel over here drying as well. It's nice to have some of these racks where you can have the peels drying and the water can drip below. to boil these <clears throat> until the peels almost get translucent and it, the liquid is going to be a thick syrup and then we know that it's done. So in the next video we will let those dry for a bit on again on a rack. When you come back they'll be drying on this rack for about an hour and then we will dip them in sugar and I'm going to put them in the dehydrator and let them dry fully so that we can store them in nice mason jars. So we'll see you soon.